Soviet Union. really been able to stay. This is her best apparatus. She moves so freely from bar to bar, but watch her release moves. She gets so high. Front giant work, right into a front release move. A second release move, a reverse hex. Every move taken right up to the handstand, and that perfect dismount, a double Bocci. hex. Stella really handles the international pressure quite well. This is her best apparatus. She has a dynamite move that she performs right off the top. Combination skill, back handspring layout to another back handspring layout, solid. an event where keeping your hips and your shoulders squared to the beam is very, very important. Another second acrobatic skill, a gainer layout. Nice amplitude on a combination straddle jump. Stella's moving very well, very confident. Terrific dismount, a round off to two summies. And for the 15-year-old from Malton. And this is exactly what the gymnasts are seeing. The back handspring to the layout, you can see keeping her hips and her shoulders square with the beam. Competition is Janine Rankin from Palgrave. Janine's just coming back from a very serious back injury that she suffered at the 89 World Championships. So this is her first international event. I think the high point for Janine was a fourth place on the beam at the 87 World Championships, but she is struggling to regain that format. And from Valero, we go to the untouchables and Canadian Stella Ume. Stella's very aggressive on this apparatus. A super dynamite opening, a full twisting double back. with the performance we're seeing from Stella here in this competition, she really does have the potential to be one of Canada's best in the future. And she closes with a double tuck. Good landing. She's a terrific tumbler and a terrific score. 9-6-2-5 for Stella Ume. She talks about music and dance being her hobbies, and you really see the influence along with that great tumbling. Well, this is one of the tumbling passes that she's improved upon. Her whip through to an immediate double back salto. You can see she had a lot of extra over-rotation. Gold, Kim Smeskel, the Olympic bronze medalist. And Serga has been away from international competition for a couple of years now. This is a big comeback. A nice opening, a full twist and double back in a laid out position. Just a little shy on his landing. Nice combination front tumbling, a double front, very difficult to do. Some of the special requirements the men have to show on this apparatus, a 
reinforce flexibility along with strength elements. And he moves from a side split right up, up to an English press. A little bit shaky. Showing his wide scale balance move. That's a requirement as well. And finishing off with his third long tumbling pass. A full twist and double tuck. Very well done, just again. He required surgery to repair a hamstring injury, but it looks like he's on his way back. And this is nice work right here. 0.625 for Sergei Sheska. He has a reputation as a fierce competitor. And a spectacular one at that. Check out that opening tumbling run. That's two twists in a double tuck position. Nobody else in this competition is even attempting that move. There's his press to a handstand, fulfilling that strength requirement. Then Florent decides can last anywhere between 50 and 70 seconds. This is a great Florent decides routine. Final tumbling run. Nice high double back and he nails the landing. That was really impressive. Love this move. Two twists in a tuck position and two summies. Very tough to do. Airman with the 9-7 steal Thomas at the Commonwealth Games. He won gold in floor exercise there. And does he pack it in? He does two tumbling passes back to back. Double layout and continues on. That's great work. Now, most of the men will include a side tumbling pass. There's a punch, punch, pike into a punch front. And he does some unusual moves. That's an aerial cartwheel. You don't see very many men performing that skill. This is Y scale, fulfilling that balance requirement on one leg. Oh, great ending. A lot of over rotation in that full twist double tuck. Neil Thomas of England, third among... ...in his specialty, an unbelievable opening. He does a roundoff back handspring to a double layout. Now, most of the men will just end it right there. But Neil continues on, way up on his toes there. Had a little bit of problem continuing on to that back handspring and rebounds into a back tuck. Now, it's important that they end with almost as much difficulty as they open with. That was a nice, full, twisting double back. And a silver medal for Poland. Uh, the ever-popular gear cartwheel onto the board, reach back into a back handspring, good lift off the horse, and a good landing. And a great combined style, guys. That was incredible. There's a reach back onto the horse, good height. She'll open up, look for the landing in her trademark landing position, one foot in front of the other. 17 years of age. Oh, that was a second great ball. It's called the handspring onto the horse. She'll reach back to a half twist and pull a back pike out of it. Just one small step over to the right. And she takes the lead. Her combined score, nine. Six. A great ball. Look at the distance she cleared off that horse. That again is... There's a round off onto the board, reaches back, good lift, little pike down on the landing. That's what caused the extra hey. drop. Nice square ball in a pike position. Oh, yeah. She reaches onto the horse, front handspring, good lift off the horse. 
pulls the back pipe, looks for the landing. Two very strong balls from Kim. Great combined score of not winning goal, followed by... And you'll soon see why she's one of the best in the world. In fact, co-champion on this event. Great amplitude on all her movements. Look at that sky-high Jaeger Salto. Girls have to have their routine made up of ten elements moving from both the high bar to the low bar. A second release skill, and that's very common at this level of competition. Giant swing with a full turn. And a dismount. You can see she was trying to stick the landing a little bit. If you look back there. to Seoul and Chen Kui Ting, Yang Bo also in this competition, but Fan Di is one of the best in the world. They execute so well. Look at that super height on her kachev. And they have great body lines. 9.875, the score for teammate Yang Bo to beat. Yang Bo is one of the new, exciting, rising stars on the Chinese team. Look at this work. It's so effortless. Beautiful giant swing. That dismount was super high, well above the high bar. Own release element, a Jaeger Sami, and she connects that down to the low bar, fulfilling that requirement on that apparatus. Look at this dismount, super height, and what was really impressive about this is her knees were locked together. And that is your new leader, Yang Bo, with a 9.95. And here is the European champion, Henrietta Onodi of Hungary. She beat out Daniela Silovash and Olga Strasheva to win the uneven bars competition at the Europeans. She has so many unique elements in this routine. It's just stocked with difficulty. The one flaw, however, are her release skills. That was her second one. She doesn't perform them with very much amplitude, but she works so well from bar to bar. Front giant work. Giant with a full turn. Look at her legs squeezed together and a nice dismount. Four foot nine. Gymnastics in the last year. Now the girls are able to perform such release skills as this front Jaeger because the bars are at such a wide angle these days. They've stolen these moves actually from the men's high bar. Henrietta did a beautiful job with that move and then also fulfilled her requirements on the low bar, performing her two elements on this bar. This was a nice dismount, very clean, knees locked together. Great job. And a 9.9 .9 for Henrietta Anoka, second, and Fon D, a co-world champion. Yurchenko, but only... In Paris. He gets some great height off this horse in a nice, stretched out, laid out position. Pretty good landing, one small step. Oh, that's a tough fault. This is entry onto the horse. Front hamstring, laid out, stretch front. But the half twist really, really offside on that ball. It's a major deduction. Just 17 years of age, he was the top. Not a bad tap in that piece. Round off onto the horse. And he continues to twist in the same direction. Full twist, but really offside. Perhaps you, favoring that ankle. You see the ankle wraps. He was out five months with an ankle injury, but his combined score is 9-5. So Casimir is the leader as Neil Thomas, the British vaulting champion, prepares for his first. Oh, nice high. Wow. Same type of vault as his first vault. Only he throws in an extra twist. That's two twists. No problems with the landing. Just nails it. He was England's best at the Commonwealth Games in Auckland, and he is the best in the men's vault at the International Tracer. There's certainly a lot of training that has gone into this apparatus. That was a nice opening, a front tuck onto the balance beam, a blind landing, I might add. Now, the girls have to meet a lot of special requirements. This is Boganskaya's acrobatic series, two layouts in a row, just a little bit of a problem on the landing. These routines are only judged from a 9.6. The other .4 is made up through bonus points, and they can get those points through originality. She always shows such interesting choreography, and this is again another requirement working down low on the balance beam. A gainer back layout, you can see again a little bit of a hesitation in her landing. She's working a bit conservatively today. 
not quite as confident as she has been in the past. series the back handspring boy you have to be right on shoulders hips right in line with the beam you can see just fighting to stay on no dismount round off double back into tuck position 9.80 Vinskaya of the Soviet Union here's Kim Smesko of the United States just that was an incredible opening mount a reverse planche again the girls always trying to be very innovative on this apparatus Kim is so young and yet so mature in her work on this event. Here's her big skill. Back handspring, two layouts, solid. She's very exact in all her movements and very sure of herself. Here's her gymnastic series, two switch leg split leaps. Gain a layup again, very solid. Wow, incredible height on that dismount, a double back, a dismount. Take a look at that, two double backs, no problem. Nine points, she's behind Boganskaya. It's kind of a surprise as we prepare for Yang Bo's routine. Now you're in for a real treat. This is just a dynamite balancing routine. A lot of originality and some pretty spectacular skills. A one-arm back handspring to a layout walkout. Wow, a full twisting back handspring chest roll. That seems almost impossible on this apparatus. Aerial front walker bird displaying flexibility. That's a nice example of her gymnastics and acrobatic skills performed together. Wonderful height on that leap. She even threw her head back. Chris, she's just doing a terrific job. She was a finalist in the beam competition at last year's World Championships. Look at the height in these layups and in connection. Just incredible. She didn't even need to do that tumbling skill. She's also more than fulfilled all the requirements so far. The, that was the worst part of the routine. She almost fell on the A flawless routine. The interior was incredible. Take a look at this combination skill. A one-arm back handspring into a layout walkout. That, this is a dynamite skill. Full twist, back handspring to a chest roll. She was right on. Now, if she had any problems, it was right here on the dismount. The entire routine was incredible, and then she had a bit of a problem landing very low on that dismount. Nevertheless, that's the leading warrior, Yang Bo of China, with a 9-9. What a mount for Alicia Dudnik. Again, difficulty from these athletes. It's just incredible. That was a round-off layout walkout on the beam. What a wonderful skill. Aerial cartwheels to two layout walkouts. We're seeing a lot of originality in these girls. Alicia's 15, she's from the Ukraine. Wow, that was incredible. A round off layout on the beam, but she added a full twist. Interesting press to handspring.
Oh, a little bit of a wobble there. He has done so much in this bouncing routine, but it doesn't end here. Take a look at this dismount. Round off back handstrings, and twistle, triple twist, and she just fits the landing. Alicia. Alicia Dudnik was second at the world championships on the beam and is the European champion. There's a round off onto the beam, takes it right up into a layout full twist. We see this skill performed on the floor exercise. Incredible to be doing it on a four inch bounce beam. And what a dismount. Round off back handspring, triple twist. Not a problem on that landing. And a 9 9 for Alicia Dudnik. So a tie for the championship of the beam, Jan Bo from Grenoble. And the top rated Frenchman at the Seoul Olympics. Great first release skill. And this one was the same one, only does a front flip out of it. Very difficult move. A little bit of a problem getting up into that handstand. 9.35 for Christian Savat. Now, this is a new floor exercise routine since the World Championships. Boganskaya has that talent of being able to carry off any type of style. Opener, a full twist with a double back. It's just like the Soviets, they're setting new trends on women's floor exercise, very unique in their choreography. She had talked about seeing more artistry in women's gymnastics and less of the tumbling, but boy, she can tumble as well. Boy, she really upgraded that second tumbling pass since the World Championship. She added a double back after a one and a half twist. Strong close, a double back in a tough position. She's really an artist on this apparatus. Silver medalist in Seoul, the world champion in 89 in Stuttgart, Svetlana Boganskaya. Chris, she has it all. She has the tumbling, and she also has the choreography to go along with it. This was a nice tumbling run, the second one of the routine. One and a half twist, good combination. But she upgrades it by landing with a double back. That's two summies. And here's that interesting choreography. It goes so well with the music. She's the dominant the rising star. It might be Kim Zmeskel of the United States. And it sounds like Bella Caroli picked out the music. Kim is tiny, but boy, can she tumble. That's a nice opening, full twist, double back, but she did hers in a pike position. I'm really impressed with Kim's choreography. All the movements work so well to the music. Second tumbling pass, three whip backs to a double back. That's incredible. She doesn't lack any energy whatsoever. This is the toughest tumbling run. Good height, double back. What a routine. She was the winner of the America's Cup earlier this year and has certainly captured the crowd in France. Kim Zmeskel of the United States. Talk about difficulty. Look at this tumbling run. Three whip backs. And she'll move into combination back handspring and ends with a double back. What a line. Incredible amount of speed and power. Look at the lift in this final run. A double back. 
Just a superb job. 995 top Boganskaya, and that is the score for Henrietta Anodi to beat. Anodi very similar, I think, to Kim's Mesco in stature. Henrietta is a very tiny gymnast. She too has some incredible showing. In fact, she has the most difficulty in this competition. There's her opening whip through to a full end pike out. Twisting tumbling pass. Three twists just stuck perfectly. Anodi is one of the few gymnasts that adds four tumbling runs. Here's her third one. Double twist to a punch front. She continues on with more tumbling. Now if that wasn't enough, she ends with a very spectacular Final tumbling pass, double pike, just solid. What a routine. Just stocked with difficulty. We didn't see her in Seoul, but her star has been on the rise ever since. Henrietta Anodi of Hungary. Here's her double twist to her immediate punch front, and she moves on with more tumbling. Nothing like adding four tumbling runs in this routine. 9.9 .9 for Henrietta Anodi of Hungary. So Kim's Meskel...